I'd like to share with all of you a couple of tricks of the trade, things that some professional magicians like to use. I don't profess to have you become a professional magician right after um, watching this video or DVD, but you will be well on your way. You'll be able to mystify, confuse, and most importantly, entertain yourself and your audiences. We like to use a thing like this often if we're going table to table or if we're set up in a mall. I call it a close-up box. There's all different words for it, but essentially what you can do is you can use a cutlery box. You can go to um, your local thrift shop and find very attractive boxes. Bombay Company, that's not a commercial. Bombay Company has beautiful, if they're still around, um, dark wood boxes. They look like books. You can open them up. This lid opens up. I won't do that right now because I've got my props there. And you can store your props in there, bring them up when you want them. It's fantastic. Another thing invented in the 90s, really the 80s, by um, Montreal magician Gary Willette is called the close-up stage. You can make your own as well. It's the same idea as this except it doesn't open up. Here's one example. This is one of my newer ones that I put together. And what it is essentially is a picture frame. You take out the picture, obviously. You get a bit of foam and whatever color that you want of material, um, preferably this kind of fuzzy, something with a tooth, either blue, green, or red, whatever strikes your fancy, as long as it doesn't have a busy pattern so it doesn't distract from the props. And put it back on it and you're good to go used a wooden frame in this case. You can go to your local framing company or framing art supply place and have them do that for you. Here's another example. This was one of my very first ones. I love this one. I still use this one. I put a flange, which also sounds like the name of a 1950s sitcom mother flange, um, at the bottom of it. So um, this can be supported by a tripod stand, a music stand, whatever. And I also put on the back, this is a major reveal, um, this is called a servant. And it's used to secretly drop stuff in, take stuff out, which we call stealing stuff out. I even put little feet on it, as per Gary Willett's original close-up stage. You can put things kind of underneath to have this tilt slightly so your audiences can see. I've used this millions of times on television. I've used this in live appearances. It's great if I'm only carrying maybe a dozen effects, which I can also store in here. This also fits into a standard artist portfolio, and you're good to go. So there's some ideas if you want to kind of fancy up your presentations. Um, more often than not, you'll probably carry your effects on you in your pockets or in a, if they still have fanny packs, any kind of wallet or sort of thing to store your tricks in. That's a great thing too. You just pull it out and do your magic. Um, if you have a little bit of a more formal setting or you're having a party or a gathering, you may have a little corner set up with all this stuff kind of hidden inside. I'd love to open this up and show you what's in there, but basically this stuff fits in there, so you're basically seeing what's what. So, just wanted to share that with you, the close-up stage, the close-up box. Um, makes things a little bit more finished and professional. A lot of professional magicians nowadays, they do what we call street magic. You've probably seen already videos on YouTube about that sort of thing, where they just walk up to someone, some poor unsuspecting victim, um, on the street or in a restaurant. They pull out a trick or a deck of cards or whatever, and they work their magic. Nothing wrong with that. It's fantastic. Oftentimes, too, um, when, say, um, people recognize me in whatever city in Canada, um, I'll pull off one of my rings and I'll use just an object like that and do a magic trick for a little boy or girl or an adult or whatever. You can do tricks with anything, with rings. You can take a coin and vanish it and, or change it. I'll share all that stuff with you as well, so it's very spontaneous. If you happen to, for whatever reason, carry rubber bands on you, that's really cool. My all-time favorite, cards. Uh, you can't really go wrong with cards. One more note before we get into things. A wand. Wands are fantastic. You can, if you want, keep them in your jacket pocket, pull them out of your close-up case, whatever. They're great for misdirection. Here's an example. So I'll show a coin, like so. Place it there. Go like that. And apparently it's gone. 
I, I've actually used the wand to camouflage the fact that I'm holding it in this hand. We'll use the wand as misdirection um, and a few other effects a little bit later um, on this video. But let's get started.